Hey guys, and welcome to a skier task guide, Lend Lease Part 1. For this task, you're going to need to obtain three motor controllers, as well as two single axis fiber optic gyroscopes, and then hand them all over to skier. Don't forget to leave a like on this video if you find this guide useful. So for this task, you are going to need a few keys. Now, one of them that you are going to need is the West Ring Room 216 key. Now this key is definitely needed for this task, there isn't any way of cheesing it. So this key does currently spawn in jackets as well as in the pockets and bags of scavs. Now this key also has a hard spawn on shoreline. The key can be found on the desk in the eastern part of the admin building upstairs and it spawns on top of the desk next to the light. Now I do have a full key guide for this key up in the icon up the top right hand corner as well as in the top link in the description. And for the other keys you are going to need it is going to either be the East Wing Room 306 or the East Wing Room 308 key. Now when it comes to both of these keys both of these keys do spawn in jackets as well as in the pockets and bags of scavs. Now you don't need um, both of the keys you just need one of them. When it comes to the 306 key, this key does actually spawn in the Tarcones Director Office and Customs as well. And when it comes to the 308 key, this does spawn in woods in the number one cabin. There's a little um, end table that's in between the two beds and it does spawn on that. Now, we do have key guys for all three of these keys. But remember, you do need either the Eastern Room 308 key or the 306. You don't need both of them. By the way, if you do need help unlocking any of these rooms, we do have a helpline over on our Discord, discord.gg slash piranha. Basically, what we're doing is a Sherpa service. So if you need certain rooms to unlock or you just need help to play with or even people to play with, we have everything over on our Discord. So we're going to start off in words. Here in front of you is the map showing you both of the locations. One is by the lumber mill and one is by the checkpoint. So we are going to be hitting up the first motor controller and we are over here at the checkpoint. Now a lot of you guys should know this car. This is the one that spawns the violet key card and the motor controller spawns right here in the middle between the driver's seat and the passenger seat. Next what we're going to do is head over to the lumber mill for the gyroscope. So here we are over at the lumber mill up there, Sniper Mountain, and this is the lumber mill just like so. You've got three vehicles here by the entrance of the blue building, and what we're going to want to do is go to the pickup truck. The violet key card does spawn here, but that's not where we're going. We're going to jump on the pickup truck, and it's literally this open box right here that we need to gonna grab it out of. By the way, if you happen to die after you pick up any of these items and you haven't handed it over to Skier, you do need to come back into Raid and collect the items. So once you get out of this Raid of Woods, then the best thing you do is head over to Skier and hand over the items to him before you go into your next Raid, which is going to be Shoreline. So here on the map in front of you is showing you where we're going to need to go on Shoreline. So we've got three meta controllers. Two of them are up at the result, which is what you need the keys for. And the third one is out over to the eastern part of the map, which is where we're at right now. So over there, you can see the dome right here is the radar or the radio tower, the signal tower, which is the um, uh, that you need to mark for signal. So the box is literally just here, but I'm going to show you a few more points that you can use to point you in the right direction. So just next to this um, tower right here, you have this um, trailer. And what you're going to do is you can see it's kind of pointing in direction, which is over this way. What you're then going to do is run in a straight line in the direction that the corner is pointing. It's going to take you over two sets of hills and then the box should basically be directly in front of us. It's quite inconspicuous, but this is the box where you pick the item up. Over there, you can see the UAV train that you're going to need to pick up for one of Peacekeeper's stars later on. And you can actually see the box directly from there. Right there is a hidden stash as well. So it's all just basically circling around a few open areas. But the first time you find it, it will be kind of hard for you to try and figure out where it is. So here we are at the resort. So we are going to be hitting up the rooms that you are going to need either the East Wing Room 308 or the 306. Now that is these two rooms just up over there. 
and we're going to point you how to get there so we're going to enter east wing which is the right wing uh the right wing building we're going to go in through the main entrance and follow it around to the left we're going to go up the stairs until we're up at the very top floor just like so and then what you can actually do is look for door numbers so you can see that that's 308 and 306 so from 308 i will just show you how to get to the task item because you do need to go into the balcony going in through 308 you can see this generator out here and what you're going to do is jump on top of the generator and it is in the box directly here in front of you and then if you are going to be coming from the east wing room 306 key basically this is the door that i just pointed out a minute ago you basically walk through here you got all the computers on your right and then here is the box right here that you're going to need to loot from once again like i said in the woods run if you happen to die you do need to come back in and collect the task item again so here we are outside again on the right here this is the resort that is east wing and this is west wing which is the red key building so for this we are going to need the west wing room 216 key and the way that we get to that is you go through the main entrance and then follow it around to the right hand side and go up the stairs one time just like so then you're going to turn to your left you see you've got 210 in front of you you're going to go right and jump over the barbed wire yep jump over the barbed wire you see this chair right here just before you get to that chair here is the door the 216 room and this is the one that you're going to need to unlock once entering this room all you're going to do is look directly to your left you've got this blue cabinet and the item spawns right there in the blue cabinet again like i said last time if you happen to die you do need to come straight back in again and collect the items as they are task items and not physical things you can stick up your bum if you are struggling with this task or just in general wanting to find people to play with head over to prana.tv discord we do have a decently large looking for group community as well as a sherpa system so if you just need a bit more help than normal then we are there to help you hopefully you guys found this guide useful if you did don't forget to leave a like and subscribe or possibly consider joining the channel membership that way you can unlock early videos as well as a few custom rewards don't forget to check out piranha.tv as well that's a one-stop shop for all of your guides tasks keys all those kind of things in one location hopefully you guys found this guide useful and i'll see you in the next video and a big thank you to all of my patreons supporting me over on patreon.com slash piranha tv and a huge thank you to jay dam freddy and beansy without this kind of support i wouldn't be able to do what i do